Today, we'll talk about solving rational equations. When we're solving rational equations, we have to factor each denominator completely. Once we've factored the denominator, we have to identify any values that make the denominator zero by setting each factor of the denominator equal to zero and solving for the variable. Then we'll multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator of all denominators. We will remove any grouping symbols and solve the resulting equation. Lastly, we'll check the potential solutions in the original equation. Any values that make the denominator zero cannot be a solution of the equation. Let's take a look at an example. In this example, we have 6 plus 4 over m plus 1 equal m over m plus 1. Here, our denominators do not need to be factored. So we'll just note that if our denominator were equal to negative 1, negative 1 plus 1 would be 0. So our denominator, our value, cannot equal negative 1. To solve the equation, we'll multiply every term by the least common denominator, which is m plus 1. So the least common denominator is m plus 1. So I have 6 times m plus 1 plus 4 over m plus 1 times m plus 1 equals m over m plus 1 times m plus 1. The first term, we distribute the 6. We have 6m plus 6. The second term on the left, we have 4m in our denominator, and we're multiplying. We have m plus 1 in our denominator, and we're multiplying by m plus 1. So our m plus 1s cancel. We're left with just the 4, positive 4. The same thing happens on the right-hand side. We have a denominator of m plus 1, and we're multiplying by m plus 1, so the m plus 1s cancel. The right-hand side, we have m. To solve the equation, we will now combine our like terms. On the left, we have 6m plus 10, and it's equal to m. To move our variables all to one side, I will subtract 6m from both sides. So now I have 10 is equal to m minus 6m gives us negative 5m. Lastly, we will divide by the negative 5. 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. So the value of m is equal to negative 2. Checking to make sure that our solution is not cause our denominator to be zero, we can say that our solution is negative two. M is equal to negative two.